Hi, I'm Peter with the F5 Dev Central team. If you're working from home like many of us, your company may have you connect to F5's VPN solution to gain access to corporate resources. F5's VPN is called Big IP Access Policy Manager, and I'd like to show you the various ways that you can connect to your organization's VPN. So the first way, right off the bat, is with the Big IP Edge client. It's a standalone client. It would come from your IT department. Either they send you a link or they would push it as part of a package. Disconnect is where we are right now, disconnected. Auto connect just means that if uh, you're connected, to, if you're connected to the corporate domain. Um, and it'll recognize that, not create a tunnel, but once you remove or undock and connect to a untrusted wireless or something like that, then it would automatically connect to create a VPN tunnel. But since you're working from home, I know I clicked that, you would just click this one to connect. And now it's connecting to the server. It'll do these pre-inspections. It's called a pre-logon check. And it checks things like antivirus or firewall or machine certificates or client certificates, whatever your organization determines what the inspections are to ensure that this machine isn't wanting to deliver malware or has certain criteria to then connect to the corporate network. And just as I'm talking, we're connected. And now it's doing, as you can see, the domain login. It is synchronizing policies, maybe Active Directory policies. It's also mapping drives, if I have some corporate drives in my file manager. And that's what's happening now. But I am connected to the corporate network. When you open up the graph, you can see the traffic inbound and outbound. Uh, change server is essentially you may have a number of VPN controllers distributed around the globe, so various regions. You can choose one that's closest to you. Ours is set up by GOIP to connect this to the closest VPN controller. And then view details just gives you some of your routing details, IP configuration, those kinds of things. Your organization might be using split tunneling and all that means is that your normal outbound traffic, say, to Google search or those kinds of things would just go out your you know, normal unencrypted connection, but that anything destined for the corporate network, uh, that would go over the VPN encrypted tunnel. So that's all split tunneling is. Now, there may be situations where everything goes through the organization's tunnel because maybe they have a DLP set up, maybe they have a forward proxy set up to filter outbound traffic or just to check all outbound traffic. So that's what split tunneling is. We're not using any compression. Compression tends to increase uh, CPU usage. So that is the client. It's pretty easy to use. It'll expire in a number of hours just for security purposes. I just launch it in the morning, let it sit in the tray. It's the little F5 ball down there. And then it'll automatically disconnect later this evening. But during the day, I'm able to access everything I need to access. So let's disconnect. And now you can see the traffic tailing off. So now let's try Microsoft Edge, a browser. The reason these solutions are called SSL VPNs is because it uses the same technology that's already built into the browser, SSL and TLS. Now, in this instance, my credentials were cached, but I am getting a, a multi-factor challenge. And we have an app on our phone. It sends me a push. I have a request waiting. I approve it. There I'm in. Now, usually browsers need either extensions or helpers to do this kind of pre-logon checks. You'll have to accept those. Um, like I mentioned, the extensions, you might need to install them. You might not. Oftentimes, it's just that accept or deny when it comes in. And now I have 
a little VPN portal, I have access to web applications or client server applications or even virtual desktops, remote desktops. That'll get me um, into that area. But in this instance, I just want to connect to the VPN tunnel. And it launches the window again. And you can see it's doing the same thing as the client connecting, performing the domain logon, log, log on, synchronizing policies, those kinds of things. Let's show the details. Again, the same what's in the client allows you to open up those areas and get a little bit more detail about what's going on. So let's disconnect that one, close that one out. And this time, let's use uh, Chrome, but I'm going to use uh, incognito, so nothing should be cached or saved. And now I get the logon to put my username and put my password in. I again get the multi-factor instance. I'm going to accept that one. And I do want to stay signed in for now. And here is the option to launch the inspector. And it'll go. Same sort of checks, whether I'm on the Edge client or within the various browsers. And I'm in. Same options, the portal access, and then the tunnel access, open the VPN. And once again, we're connecting, performing domain logon. And your, your rollout, your options may look similar, or it may be unique and customized for your own organization. Now we're synchronizing policies. And let's disconnect. We'll close that out. And now let's just try Firefox, depending on whatever browser is your favorite. Now, this time, I'm not going to do the inspector. More options. I'm going to skip endpoint inspection. And there you have it. You, I can't get access unless the endpoint inspections are going on on the back end. The administrators kind of use this visual policy editor to determine what happens uh, whether you pass or fail the pre-logon inspection. But instead, let's try to open a new one again. And I will comply with the inspections. Collecting all the info. Checking running processes. Maybe checking for malware running or other bad stuff going. Let's open the link. The window opens, and we get connected. Pretty simple with any of your browsers. You can also have the option to run this on your mobile phone. There are the F5 Access apps that are available from your various app stores, depending on uh, what model phone that you have. So we'll disconnect there. Let's bring this down. and. Bring back the client. And as this is rolling out, I want to thank you for your time. If you want to learn more about any VP, uh, F5's VPN solutions or specifically Big IP Access Policy Manager, and for tips, tricks, and troubleshooting, please visit us at DevCentral, devcentral.f5.com. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching.